Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm very happy that everyone's here with me today. I'm back again. Actually, the same day for me. Different day for you, probably Wednesday. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. And I'm here to share some more work uh, making ephemera on my for my flip-flop journal. I haven't done anything since you saw the last video, so you'll be right up. Well, I did finish a couple of tags. I finished these cute little girls. Aren't they adorable? I think they came out really cute. Um, I wanted them to be very vintagey. What do you think? Aren't that cute? Now, I have to cover the back, so we need to do that. Um, then there was this one. You saw this one, right? Isn't she pretty? Look at all the pretties. And I still am undecided about whether to put a topper on there or what to put. So I'm going to look around my studio and see if I can find anything fun to put up there. You know, I'm sure there's something in my stash, right? So we have that. And I want to work on my cover today. And then I want to work on, now these tags are done. This one I want to work on. It needs a little work. So I thought maybe we could make some tags and a cover today. And whatever else we can fit in, you know, before we run out of time. So... Um, it's late in the day again, so I don't have a lot of time, which is kind of good because then I don't over chit chat. And I have got another order of um, lovely doilies from my friends at Paper Baker Creations. Hi, Anna and Anna, and mom and daughter team. Who and Anna is uh, my little lovely friend over there, and she. Oh, that's a perfect pink. I ordered some pink doilies more. Because I do go through them. I do. And I love their doilies. They're just lovely. And um, I don't know. I wanted to put a double pink here. So let's see how it looks. It sort of looks kind of purpley. But I don't. It isn't. It's pink. It's just there's all, you know, the wide variety of pinks in this world are crazy. I was thinking like something like that. Hmm. Maybe not in that spot. I do want another doily in here, though. I am, I'm absolutely adamant about it. I'm thinking here. I'm thinking here. What about this one? Yeah, that would look good there. Okay, so anyway. Hi, Anna. I hope you're well, honey. Super sweet girl. Love her. Her and her mom are fabulous. Um, let's see. Let's get some. And they're at Paper Baker Creations. I buy a lot of stuff from them. <laughs> I get all kinds of goodies from them, and I am really happy with all the things I get. Okay, so last time we cut this, and we didn't do anything with it, so this time I'm going to go ahead and, and do a little gluing. I have refilled my glue, so it's good to go. It'll be quick. I won't have to squeeze it too hard, which is good for the hands. Oh, gosh, you know, I meant to bring in scissors to show my buddy, um, Betty, she was saying that her hands are really bothering her. And I will tell you that Fiskars carry scissors. And they have big ones that have the, um, the spring in here. And the spring-loaded scissors, they do make the big ones, you know, big giant ones, regular scissors. They may also make pinking shears that have the, um, the spring in it. So, Betty, if you go to Fiskars, Fiskars, um... They don't have to be the titanium, but let's see if you can read it. You can get scissors that will not hurt your hands, okay? I have tons of them for my sewing uh, because I was sewing so much. You know, my hands were just killing me all the time, and um, I had to get some. So I have not turned any of them into paper scissors yet, but that's coming. That is definitely on in the list to do for my hands as, you know, if they get any worse. But right now they're they're pretty good. As long as I keep crafting, my hands do not hurt me. If I stop and I don't craft much, then the arthritis settles in. The doctor told me to keep crafting, keep using your hands. Okay, so then I wanted to add the sparkly tool. You guys saw me cut that out in my last video. And I want to put that on there. I want to see both the polka dot tool and the sparkly one. And I need to see where this is going to go. Yep, there she is. Okay, so let me get this one on in the middle. Mm 
That sounds funny, huh? Did you guys hear that? <laughs> yeah. Let me see. I have to kind of hold this up in the light so I can see it. Ugh. I just got a thumb full of Fabri-Tac. My poor thumbs are all dried out from all the glues. My hands are a mess. Okay. Now, I want to warn you that from here on out, videos could or may be spotty. Um... Because of the holidays, you know, I um, I may have them on a regular basis if I'm crafting and having a good time or and I will have I do have all these fun ornaments and things to make that aren't necessarily for journals, but I will share those with you if you guys are at all interested in seeing some of the other things that I make for the holidays and, um, you know, give you some gift ideas or whatever. Um, I don't know if they're going to be for gifts or just for my, decorating my um, room here. But if you're interested, you know, I'm happy to, to do, you know, share them in a video with you. I'm looking for the right and the wrong side of this. Because uh, I want that on the bottom. I ended up fi figuring out this is probably where I wanted it to go was on this one. I cut it out for another piece and didn't end up using it. So I thought, well, I'll just use it here. So let's do that. This is going to go fairly quickly because... I've had a little time to think about what I would like here. Just a bit, just a bit of time. A couple, a little hour. I had a little snack and got rejuvenated, took a little break, and then came back. <clears throat> Went and had some sliced apples and, and pecan roll. I had some cinnamon pecan roll, which was yummy. My husband and I like that little snack in the afternoon gets us through because we don't eat dinner till a little bit later because we stay up late so we don't eat you know too early we did take our beautiful friend joe out for dinner the other night to thank him for all of his hard work and for the last year of work that he has done with and for us gosh you know our retaining wall our stairs the uh the um new fencing the uh, irrigation system he did a patio for my swing out back he helped me do the walkway for the front yard and put in all the floors and the bathrooms and it was like oh my gosh what a good good friend he is so you know he is just an amazing man and we so we took him out to say thank you and had a great time out to dinner the other night so we really enjoyed it now where's my where's my other one i had one where did that go i was using one Hmm. Give me a minute here. Goodness. My little tray here. I just threw everything on it, you know, from our last video. And I'm not finding my... Um, I have some fur, you know, that, that that's... Oh, there it is. Goodness. All right? It would have bit you if it got any closer. At least that's what my mom would say. I could hear her voice. <laughs> I know, Mom. I know. It would have bit me if it was any closer. You're absolutely right. I wanted to put a bit of the fur just across the top there. So I gotta find the end. And let's see. And I wanna go to about here. I use this very sparingly. I don't have any more of it and I don't know where to get the, the furry stuff. If anybody has it in their shop, any of the fur, not the um, not the eyelash trim. I have plenty of that. I have a big old ball of it, but the actual furry eyelash trim. If anybody knows where I can get that, let me know. Um, because where I used to buy it, she doesn't have it anymore. I don't even think she has a shop. So, uh, you know, I think I got it from. Gosh, I can't even think of her shop name. I could see the name in my head. Wonder Bar Wonder Bar Crafts. I'm not sure. Anybody knows if she's still around or not? Um, I know for a while there she went through a lot of stuff, so she wasn't kind of doing anything, and then I lost track of her. I used to follow her religiously. And I know Amy at Crafty Cat was is a close friend of hers, so maybe I should ask Amy if she's still around and still has any of this wonderful furry stuff that I could use. Because I love the furry part. I mean, I can cut fur. I have lots of that. But there. I wanted to, to do that and have a little. I 
Okay, this is coming up too much. Let me get this down. My thumb is going to be permanently sealed. All right, so we've got that. That makes a nice cover. And then I was thinking, I made these wax seals. And I was thinking I would like to put one right there. I thought that would be very pretty. Um, I had two cover, color, well, I have a bunch of colors. So I was trying to decide whether I wanted one that looked like that, sort of a champagne, pink champagne, which I made up by adding a bunch of colors together of wax, or whether I wanted to do like more of a pink. I mean, that's really pretty. Or do I want to keep it the champagne color that kind of matches her, oops, her picture? Maybe I should look at where this is going in the journal and see if, where did my journal, oh, this is a journal cover. No, the big cover. Yeah, I want the big cover. Let's see. This is going in the back one, right? Yeah. Opposite our little angel. So would we want pink? Hmm. Oh, I wish you guys could tell me. Hmm. I don't like that one. I think I like the brighter pink if I'm going to use a pink. To pick this up. Or I just stick with this, which I think it's going to be that because I have all these great colors that I made. Oh, did I ever share these with you guys? I don't remember. I had a, I've got pictures of all of them up on Instagram if you haven't seen them. Um, but I made a whole big thing of these pretty little... There is a trick to these if you want to get them perfectly round. And that is you need four of the, the little squares. Um, and you heat it, uh, mix it with a toothpick. Then when it's hot enough, you pour it. And as you put your thing down, you try to put it in the center and you move it around in a little bit of a circle and press at the same time. And that squishes it out evenly around. You don't just, you know, and you want to make sure you're in the middle, you know. So these are what I made. I didn't make that one. That was a gift. Look at, aren't they pretty? And then I took all the bits that were left over and I pushed, made little rosebuds. Aren't they cute? So that's what I've been, I, I worked one day on those because I wanted to be able to do just what I'm doing right now and just be able to grab them and put them on there and not have to stop and make some, you know. So I made them in colors I thought I'd use. I do want to go back and make some brighter, softer pink ones for spring. Or not just spring, just because I like shabby pink. So, pink, pink. So anyway, I don't think I shared those with you. I think I'm going to use this one. I really like it. I think I'm going to glue it right there. But before I do that, um, I want to put on some... Oh, gosh, my apple didn't agree with me, guys. Uh, some of this trim. I think up the side. I wanted something different. It's either that or pom-poms. I was thinking I wanted to put this up the side. What do we think? Do we like that? Kind of heavy, huh? Well, my other option, I have two other options are, I just picked this up the other day at Dollar Tree. I picked up some pom-poms and then I have the little pom-pom. So, okay, so we have the option of that. Let's see about this one. Let's see, where's our end on this? I'm sure it's here somewhere. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. If you look long and hard, you will find it. Well, how are all you guys? Are you all good? Everybody well? Safe? Happy? Oh, I hope you're all, oh, I hope you're all safe. I know that there is some nasty weather lately, so I worry about all of you that are in the nasty weather getting snow so we could do this oh that's cute with that too 
What do we think? And we have the tiny little one, which I'm thinking is too tiny, but we could see. I don't know where I got this from. I think the dollar spot at Target. I mean, that's probably better. What do we think? Oh, I love this, but it seemed a bit heavy. I don't think I have a lighter version of that. I have it, a lot of it everywhere. I've got it in black and I have it in a champagne color. Um, but I just don't think I have any lighter, like not so heavy. No. Okay. I think we'll do the little one. I don't think I want this one. I'll just put this back. I'll have to rewind that when I have a minute. Let's see. What else have I got? Um, you know, something else I got. Uh, well, I have snowflakes that could go down this side, but I have it on the, the next page over. And so I didn't really think I wanted to put it there. Um, but I do have pearls. I could just go up the side with a string of pearls. I don't know where I got these, but I was... I think these are Dollar Tree, too. I was thinking maybe up the side with these. Of course, we do have to find the end. I thought I saw it. Mm, my apple giving me fits. They don't usually bother me. Hmm. Aha. I was thinking I would cut it in half. So I would like do two or three rows of the pearls up the side. Ooh, that's really pretty too. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, I don't know. It's snow. So I'm thinking the pom-poms are kind of like snowballs. That's my thought. So maybe I better stick with my original, my original consideration, which was this. You know, you hoard this stuff. I've been hoarding this one for a very, 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 very long time. A couple years now. I'm going to use it. I'm finally going to use it. The little pom-poms are harder to find. I will be having my eyes looking for them again this year. Oh, Target's had a little bit of crafting stuff, but not like they used to. Well, at least not at ours. So, um... Yeah. I will keep the pearls because there's other pages that need doing, right? So let's get... Oh, I just heard my buddy. My best friend just sent me a text message. It's that time of day already. Oh my goodness, I can't believe the day is almost over. I want to make sure there's two sides to this thing. I want to make sure I get it on the right. Oh my gosh, I can't tell. They look exactly the same. I want that to kind of go around the corner just a bit. Mm, guys, I'm going to get some soda, excuse me. I think I need a big burp. But that would be rude on camera, wouldn't it? <laughs> so let's hope that doesn't happen, right? <laughs> if I go running out of the room, you hear the door slam and I come back, you know. <laughs> oh, gosh. All oh, the stress I've been under has been wreaking havoc with my stomach. So, oh, you know. Yes, this will stick out of the journal, which I think it'll be pretty. we go okay I like that I think I think if I don't I could always run some ribbon up the side but my thought was I wanted to put that on before I put the pretty um 
little wax seal. This Fabri-Tac should hold a wax seal. If it doesn't, I'll do some hot glue. We will see, right? I didn't want to put any gold on this one, so. Think, guys I like it I'd like to put a couple tiny little pearls on there and then I think we're good I think that's all I need is some dinky little pearls and we'll be good to go sorry I got quiet for a minute there dig out some some stuff Pink pearls would be pretty, but I think they would still disappear against the background, so I guess we'll go with these, probably. And we need our pokey tool again. And we need some glue. Gosh, I got carried away there with that glue. That pearl will never move. This doesn't dry as quickly as, let's say, art glitter glue, so I do have a little time to... Um, get it and put it on. And let's get this on here. My poor pokey tool's all bent up. I'm always bending this poor thing. We'll straighten it at least once a week. <laughs> Just three tiny little pearls to kind of finish it off. I'm thinking I need two more down there. What are you guys working on? Anybody making things for Christmas? Are you making Christmas gifts this year? I don't think I am. I was thinking about making my grandkids some animals, but more than likely, I'm not going to get them done. I have these cute animals that I make. Fun little uh fur balls that I make that um I know my kids will, my grandkids my youngest grandchildren will love my older ones have them already but I just don't see me getting my room together enough and getting myself together enough to make any but you never know okay gosh my hands are cold today and my rings are a spinning so, what do we think? Hmm? Do we like it? I think she's pretty. I don't know if she needs anything else. I have to think about it. She is the cover, so you kind of think, well, maybe. I was thinking some... Um, oh, gosh. I did not mean to do that. Goodness. Maybe just a little bit of stickles here. Just kind of in the middle, just to add a little. Add a little bling bling, you know. I said I'd add a little to the to the uh, snowflakes. This is in last year's in the winter kit. Pink winter kit. Okay. We'll let that dry and see what we think. Okay. We could always add something else if we feel like we need it. I'm going to set that aside. I do have to do the pockets on the inside, but I think that is going to have to dry for a little bit. I'm going to put that up by the window where there's a little bit of airflow and let's work on this one 
Let's make this tag. Now I've already made this. It was one that was already there and I used those um, vintage stars. Let's see, do I have them anywhere? I know I showed them in another video. I just don't know where they went. They're in a pile somewhere. They're my vintage stars that I use from Denison's. And oh, wait, here they are, these. So I put those on here, added a pink uh, piece of um, brocade, gold brocade from my sewing stash. And, uh-oh, I don't want to do that. And now I feel like it needs some more something. So I'm thinking I'm going to put a little bit of, and I just barely want to get it on here, of this sparkly tool that I had. I wanted to put that up there. Let's see. Just a little bit. There we go. I really want this um, journal to shine, you know, really, really shine. So that's why I'm going to all the trouble of adding all the pretties. And then I was thinking I would add a little bit behind her and put her down on there. I actually was thinking she needed to go like right up here. But I don't know. I did want to use some of my gold. Not that much though, that's crazy amount. There, that's out of Jolene's new kit. I wonder if the uh, hand sanitizer would work on that like it does on the glue, if it would take that off. Oh, yes, it does. Well, you better be ready to rub it off, though. Oh, look at that, I took it off. Yay. Okay, so this takes off glue and it will also take off that gold paint. Yay. Okay, I just get that from Target. I think I'm gonna throw that cloth away and get a new one. Yee, that one's done. All right, now I wanna put this on here with a little bit more, uh, with the, some of this netting behind it. And I was debating, I was gonna just put this at the top, but I'm thinking now maybe she needs to go like, over there, like off to the side. And wait, where'd that netting go? Oh, there it is. There was a little bit of the netting left. I thought maybe we could put that on there. Yeah, she's okay. This tag isn't cutting it, so I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna need something at the bottom. Oh, I know what might look good on this tag. Okay, well, let's get this glued on first. I'm gonna, I have some vintage trim I think would look great. Okay. I hate to cover up one of those stars. Ugh. I hate to cover up any of the stars. But it just happened. So what are you going to do? All right. What I have, which I've had out. Now, can I find it? We'll see. Ah, uh, yeah. Very vintage. I also have... These are all vintage trims. 
I was thinking some of this. This is really old. It's actually even tarnished a little bit like gold would do. It's pretty old. It feels like gold. 36 yards. My mom bought it a long time ago. She used to use it on all of her Christmas ornaments. I've used it on some of my Christmas angels. And I was thinking it would look good on here. Yes, let's use it. Let's use it. Let's use some real vintage stuff. Hi, Mom. Makes me feel like she's here with me today, crafting along. It's definitely the time of year I think about her a lot because she always used to do the bake shows downtown San Jose and I always helped her with it. Helped her, went with her and helped her set up and pack up her boxes and helped her do her, I, I, I used to get, she used to do a dummy setup in the house. She would set up a table and set up the way her booth would be. But she made these cute little angel baby dolls one year with her friend Kay Jackie. And oh my gosh, they were so cute. And they had these, they were store-bought baby dolls, but they were undressed and they had yellow hair. And um, I can still see them to this day. And the dolls were sold for charity. And they dressed them and put wings on them. And so on the cuff of the sleeves of the dolly and on the hem, they put this gold tray trim on it and um, dressed these babies up. And then they made... Um, put wings on them and little halos, halos at the top. And so they used this trim to decorate these dollies. And um, my sister and I each got one. I got one in green and my sister got one in white, my little sister, Antoinette. And um, so we, big sisters didn't get those, but the little sisters did because we were around. The big sister was away <laughs> at school. So, well, there you have that. This is bothering me, so I'm gonna cut that off. I don't mind that it's shaggy right there, it's kind of pretty, but there you go. I don't know if any of these will go into this journal, but they're gonna get, they're gonna get, they're getting made. And then I have vintage Rick Rack and in all different sizes and ribbon what else have i got oh yes all kinds of goodies okay so we can move that out don't fall please okay so she's done and i think they can go into the pockets of this journal we just lost a pocket but we have this to play with oh i do not like the way this page got done Let's see if we could fix that a little bit. That is just atrocious. Okay. Oh, then we've got that one. It definitely needs some work. What time do we have? Let me look at my clock. I know what time I started. I just want to make sure I'm on target. Okay. So what I'm what I was thinking is that these would go into these pockets like this, right? Um, and then we have these two pockets, which I'm thinking is going to be some of these beauties. Um, got a lady there, and we've got a little angel there. So we'll need something there. And then wait, I thought I saw a pocket when I yes, I did see a pocket, but I was thinking that these, maybe I would put something up at the top and I could just tuck them in with the pocket below. Was there one on this side too? No, just that. Oh no, there is a pocket there, but that's a closed pocket, so it would have to be something small. So we still need more, so we still need more journal cards. I feel like that needs to be something more plain, maybe not a little girl there but she might look lovely over here with the other kids, right? So, and then she can go there. Maybe she can go up there. So we need something for there. 
We're going to need, oh, we got that one for there, but I got to back that one. I just noticed it's not backed. That's something you fold out. She could go there. She's very long, but look at how pretty that is underneath, right? So possible for there. Possibly for there. Hmm. We need to do something for the back of this baby. I got to fix that. Okay. So let me get out my Shabby Winter Volume 2. I want something I could write on. that would work. The big problem is I've already decorated the back. I wasn't paying attention. I should have backed it first. Oh man, I'm kicking myself. So I think what I'm going to have to do is do some measuring. I don't like to do it that way. Gosh, rings are... Let me see here. There we go. Now, I need to figure out my inches. So, let me find my ruler. It's three inches. Right at three by, I think this is three by seven. Yep. So, which side do I want? Do I want the pink? No, I think I want the fur. I love that. So let's make it three. I'm going to actually make it just a tad under the three, so hopefully it'll fit. My seven. Well, let me get rid of this first. This is seven right there. I put a little tape on there for that, so hopefully I did that right. Oh my goodness. Okay. Got a long day. I've been filming all day. A little more tired than I thought. Got a lot going on the next month, like all of you. So I will try to have some videos for you. I won't say I will and I won't say I won't. I just don't really know what I will have for you. I will try my best. So give you something to watch because I know some of you are going to get to have time off of work and so you're going to want to have something to watch. Okay. One thing I do want to do is I want to round the corners. That will make that fit better. Yep. The tough part will be cutting the top. Ugh, how am I going to do that? I don't remember what I used for my um, template. Well... Pretty close, pretty close. Let me see if I can do this one. Oh, I think I got it, you guys. I think I got it. Oh, <laughs> everything's sliding. Okay, let me do some inking. Oh, and then we'll glue that on and that tag will be completed and ready to go. You always got to do these things when you're prepping. You're getting your journals ready, making them pretty. see two berry it was two berry pies was the order I think we did them we bought them for a fundraiser from one of my daughter's girlfriends little girls or big girls I don't even remember if it was the big girl or little girl but I've known 
my daughter's friend since she was a little girl. So, and I think in high school, I think I met Monica in high school. I'm not sure. But anyway, her girls, of course, are in high school now, her oldest. And so, along with my daughter's daughter, my granddaughter. So, another generation, two generations down. So exciting for me. So, we bought some pies from her as a fundraiser. They sat in the freezer for quite some time before I baked them. But I was thrilled to get them because I love berry pie. I prefer boysenberry, but they're almost impossible to get. My uncle's bakery used to make the best ones in the world, but it burned down a few years ago. It's not perfect, but at least you don't see the berry, berry pie word, and you can easily right on the back of that so that one's done so that will go into one of the pockets but we are going to need a couple more for sure we're going to need some more tags so or cards or something now i did make a um i think you guys saw me oh. let me see if i can find it Well, the one I made on video the other day, oh my goodness, it's probably next to me right here and I just, oh yeah, here it is. This one, remember this? I was thinking I wanted to put it in here into one of the pockets, but it will need some lace. I'm going to have to pretty this up. This is not pretty enough. We're going to have to change probably some of the decor just a little bit and add some of the color that I like, you know. Maybe add some of this to it. We'll see. I don't know if that's going to work in this journal. Maybe not, huh? I did get a whole bunch of new... Um, I bought some tags. Gosh, where did they go? I did get some tags from a friend of mine. Old to see a scrap. She had these gorgeous tags that I thought were so pretty and that went well with this kit. And I thought maybe I would, but gosh, I'm gonna have to glue something onto the back of these for sure if I do that or print on the back. Let's see, we have small ones and big ones, which I think would look great in here to fill. So I want more than one tag in here. I don't just want one or two. So I'm thinking I will want to <sighs> glue something on the back and then cut them. Yep, I'm thinking that's what we're going to need to do. And we can get that out of one of the kits. Shabby Winter Volume 2 again. I think we can find some papers to go on the back. That would look good. That's a good one. What else have we got? Let's see what else we have. What else can we put on the back of that? Um, mm, that's a good one. Because when you cut it up, you won't see it. I just used one of those. Maybe we could put that on the other one because you can write over that really easy. So I think those would work. So this is the shabby winter two that I'm using on the back of these. And these are old Asina scrap. And you can find her on Etsy. Oh, there's a right side up and a not so right side up, right? What we can do is put some glue on them, let them dry, and then we can see what else we need to work on. And we'll check on our cover. We need to check our cover, see how it's doing, right? get our glue stick. I love my Scotch Create glue stick. I don't know, some people really don't like these. I guess it's like with any of the glue sticks. I love this. Um, Amy at Crafty Cat got me hooked and I just love these glue sticks. They're perfect 
some people think they're stringy, although I've never had it do that to me, but I'm, I don't push that hard, so maybe, I don't know, or maybe some of the sticks are. I have gotten some really gluey ones, though, sticky ones. I mean, that were just crazy sticky. I'm gonna move that to the side for a minute and make sure I get these right side up. This will give it some extra body too, right? So, um, All right, we'll let that dry for a little bit. And this is probably gonna be sideways because, oh, I don't know. Let's go like this. Well, our weather's pretty good. It's cold, cool for us, very cold. It's been in the 30s at night, um, but that's California. You know, we don't get any. Occasionally we'll get into the teens, but it's very rare. 28 is usually the normal low if we're gonna go low. I wish we'd get some more rain. We still need so much more rain. So please send your snow and rain to California. We absolutely, absolutely, absolutely need it if we're not going to be in drought again this year because the rain we've had is not enough. So nowhere near enough. We had like five days of nonstop rain, which was fabulous, but it's not close. We need way, way, way more. So oh gosh, these are gonna be great because they're all the winter. Um, I probably won't use the Christmas ones, but because this is not a Christmas journal, but I'll use the non-Christmas ones to put in there. Loving it. I also got some from, oh gosh, I can't think who else I got some from. Olive and Lace, Lace and Olives or Olive and Lace. I got some of theirs too. They had some pretty tags. Christmas tags. So I got to find those and put those out. I'm sure they're here too. I, I think I printed them. I think before I ran out of ink, I printed them. I'm looking to see if I have them here. Mm. No, 10 to 1, I didn't print them. Okay. Well, anyway, let's see what else we've got. Oh, we do have these. Oh, these are adorable. We'll put those two in there. They're from the winter kit, too. I can put the puppy in there. Isn't he cute? He's a winter puppy. He would be adorable in there. They're already done on the back. We just need to ink them a bit. Um, okay, we have that one. Oh, we know that's going in there, don't we? We said where that was going, didn't we? Let me see if I can find... I may not put it in the existing pocket now that I'm thinking about it. I'm wondering if maybe I could just put it in, like, tuck it in one of the side tucks. I wonder if that would be better. You know how I have these here? I wonder if that would be better to tuck it in like this. And maybe just close up the top so you could just tuck it in from the bottom. That might work. Or maybe I could just close that at the top. And then you could take it out. And you could still write on that. Although I did make mean that to be a writing space. So I'm just not sure. I'm thinking I want it like on one of these kind of pages. So I'm, I'm going to create something at the top of the page. Right? Um, and I'm thinking I might want our puppy in here with her. That way you have puppy kitty and the little girl. What do we think? Do we like that? I do. So I'm going to need to decorate that tag. Um... She can go in one of the outside pockets, maybe. I have to glue this on. I generally will glue this right at the spine so I don't keep losing it because it starts to drive me crazy when it keeps falling out the vellum. So let's do that while we're thinking about it. Let's get some art glitter glue. And I just usually go right along the spine of the doily. 
put a pretty good bead of glue. Try to line it up with my center. It does create a tuck if you want to use it that way, or it just stays like that. And there we go. Now that should keep that from falling apart. I'm going to have to figure out where that's going to go. Again, I don't really like that in the pocket. So if that's going to be back there, then I'm going to want this one maybe here or here, maybe here in the front. That would probably be pretty. So I need to create something up here to keep it from falling out. So maybe I could do a pocket, an upside down pocket. Jolene does have pockets in the kit, so maybe I could do that. And then we're thinking we wanna put our puppy in the middle. I'm a cat person, but I do like puppies. I like that she put the kitty in there because we, we both have kitties like that. Well, she had one that has passed away, but Jolene. And then, you know, um, I have two that are tabby cats, so I'm gonna fix this. I don't like that. This is a bit tall, so I am going to cut off the top. I'm gonna make it a bit more stubby. Of course, it would have been good if I'd made it straight, right? Uh, I think that's better. And I know I'm going to want rounded corners, so there's my corner rounder. This is very thick. The sparkly paper is very thick cardstock. I think it's close to one pin poundage for the cardstock. Well, you guys looks like we have used up an hour of our time already can you believe it well we were busy the whole time making paste and cut and working on this i hope you don't mind but this is the only thing i'm doing right now so it's the only thing i have for videos i hope that's okay and i guess if the shabby look isn't your thing then you know you probably won't come back for a while but i hope to uh, next week's videos will be um the Lady of the Manor. I'm hoping that's going to be what I'm going to be doing in my next videos. We'll hope that happens. That'll give us something new to play with. It is a Christmas style journal, but vintage Victorian, Victorian journal. That will be fun. And it will have pink in it because that's my style, you know, so it won't be all, um, it won't be colorless. It'll have, it'll definitely have some color to it. So, all right, you guys. Well, thank you for coming along and hanging out with me and letting me do some creating with you. I've really enjoyed it. And um, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving and a wonderful week. And I will see you all very soon. And I love you guys and hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.